Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. We're tracking some severe weather heading into southern New England here. Right now, we're okay in our immediate area, although we are closely tracking a tornado warning to our west here near the Hartford area. There is a tornado watch in effect for Providence County at this time and surrounding areas in Connecticut and Massachusetts. And let's take a look right now at that storm that I'm tracking here in Connecticut. So it does have a tornado warning on it right now. Not quite in our immediate area yet, but obviously keeping a close eye on this and how it develops here. Um, but right now you can kind of see where we're going with this. It's heading kind of due northeast at this point, going through the Hartford area, heading towards Tolan and the Stafford area as well, towards the northeastern part of Connecticut. So obviously northwestern Rhode Island in that area that I'm watching right now, potentially as this continues to move through. And behind that, we have more what we call kind of discrete cells here. And with the high humidity and very warm temperatures we've had this afternoon, kind of the perfect uh, conditions for some of the severe weather to pop up. So not expecting this to be the last of it either. And with that, we have already put out that we are in a severe storm risk. Most of our area in a slight risk besides Cape Cod, parts out towards uh, the eastern islands here, Martha's uh, Vineyard, as well as Nantucket in a marginal, but the rest of the area in slight Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts and enhanced farther north in areas of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts as well. So with that tonight, we're going to be looking at conditions um, starting to lessen as far as storms. Uh, again, we're going to be closely monitoring this over the next several hours here, but overnight not looking too bad. We could see a late night storm or shower, uh, but overall things clearing up. Could see a stray shower lingering on into Monday morning here. It'll be another mild and humid day, but looking a lot drier, not expecting any severe weather activity with highs a little bit more seasonable in the low 80s. So again, we're keeping a close eye on the situation. We are in a tornado watch across our area with a tornado warning to our west, so not an immediate threat just yet, but keeping a close eye on that storm as it moves through as well as any other storms that pass through our area in the next few hours.